All right, so um, we want to discuss something that I had not thought tons about, and then you came and you were talking about the distinctions between sometimes it's, you said it's called normal and extreme sci-fi, mm -hmm. but also um, what, what I've heard it more as is the distinction between hard and soft sci-fi. So mm -hmm. typically hard sci-fi, it's a lot more science oriented. A lot of times the worlds are bigger, there are more characters, a lot of those novels are longer, but not always. Whereas soft sci-fi tends to be more character oriented and it tends to be more focused on the social sciences like sociology or psychology or linguistics. Uh, I, it really was apparent to me in Arrival because uh, Louise Banks is a linguist. She kind of personifies soft science and the um, more um, the social science aspects, and uh, Donnelly, Ian Donnelly, more uh, personifies the harder sci-fi aspects, the hard science aspects. And I thought that was great because this story was kind of a merging of the hard and soft sci-fi. It was very character oriented, and it's it stayed. Sometimes hard sci-fi will cover lots of different characters, and you know, all over the universe, and Soft sci-fi will be more focused on just one or a few characters. This obviously, there was a, a very well-researched world, the linguistics, the physics, the, um, the biology, the chemistry, and yet we were kind of placed down in the middle of this world through the, the eyes of the protagonist, and so we also had a soft sci-fi feel, and so I felt like the movie in some ways was merging the hard and soft sci-fi elements. So, did you guys have anything else to say about that? Or? Yeah, I was thinking that like, with the, um, the hard sci-fi, you think of like vast universes, Star Trek, Star Wars, um, and then the where you have what they go, oh, normal sci-fi, where they're facing a problem that these other worlds don't even have anymore. You know, these um, and like the world of Arrival, the basic problem is how do you communicate with these beings that are so different from ours? You know, they don't have a universal translator like you do in Star Trek. Um, when if things get bad, they don't have anybody to come in and beam them out, and it's you really get like the more of the personal stories. I think with this type of sci-fi, I think that that really helps to because this is kind of the world we're in now. Is we have an explosion of technology, and it's mm -hmm. more technology and more information sometimes than we can actually comprehend. And so, mm -hmm. in in a sense, our world is becoming like one of those. Uh, hard sci-fi worlds where we're just popped down in the middle and we have our own personal experiences. Mm -hmm. We may not have all the hard science data knowledge or even the linguistic knowledge or whatever, but we are trying to find our way as best we can in a very technological, very information and data driven world. And I felt like Arrival was a great movie for that, for, for this uh, day and age, considering that we're going through that.